Keep the foot on the gas as they pass it to the top. Jefferson almost has it taken away. Now it is taken away. Three on one, now three on three. Pass to the other side. Shot is up and the layup is good. Cyrus Little gets the bucket for the Stormers. At the other end, the shot is up by the Lakers and it's no good. This is a dangerous time for the Lakers. You've got the lead, but Milwaukee Area Tech start to play with some confidence. Pass to the free throw line. Little takes the shot and he hits it. Milwaukee Area Tech with the basketball. Three ball on the way, and that one is good from the outside, and it's K.J. Taylor. 12-point lead for the Lakers, 33-21. Shot for three, that one is good. Taylor with his second three of the game. That one in and out, no good. Rebound by Hickles, who's back into the game with two fouls. Another shot from three, and that one nothing but net for Artis. 37-32, Iowa Lakes lead. Drive, layup, good. And Artis gets his fifth point. Jefferson takes the shot. It's no good. Rebound to the Stormers. They can tie this trip down the floor. Nice ball fake. Shot for three. That one good. And we are tied at 37. That's a clutch basket from Artis there. So they can hold for the last one here. 41-37 the lead for the Stormers. Shot on the way. That one is good. Taylor hits it. They still with the possession. West underneath tries to, he put it on the floor too many times and had it blocked away. If he goes up with it strong right away, I think he gets the bucket there. And you had a wide open Herman in the opposite corner for three and they missed it. And all of a sudden we got a tie ball game. Jefferson at the other end shoots off the backboard. No good. Rebound comes down to the Stormers. They can take the lead here. There's a drive, there's a shot and it's good. And they do take the lead. 46-45, Iowa Lakes with the lead over Milwaukee Area Tech. 17 and a half minutes to go in the game. Shot on the way, and that is good for three. Now they just need to get another stop. Pass comes out to Foxwell. Now he goes inside. Williams Dry takes the shot. It's good, and he's fouled. You know, we talked about Iowa Lakes and they're working hard right now. Milwaukee Area Tech outworking Iowa Lakes. Yeah, they're starting to show why they're one of the top rebounding schools in all of Division II. Williams Dryden gets it to go. Pass comes to the top of the key. Williams Dryden takes the shot. It's good and they're going to call a block. So it's going to be another chance for a three-point play. But maybe that gives them the kickstart that they need. Pass to the corner. Shot on the way for three. Looks good, is good. Wow. Artis with the answer. I also think Iowa Lakes is going to have to pick it up from the outside. I don't think they can just get twos. They're going to have to get some threes here. Nice play oh my. by Little. Oh, my gosh. Gives it to Evans. Evans spins, shoots, can't get it to go. Tip, tip, and still fight for the basketball, but it comes down to Milwaukee Area Tech. Up the floor, alley-oop, and there's the big dunk. Breon Williams. Coyman with the basketball for the Lakers. Gets it to Jefferson. He drives and has the ball taken away by Milwaukee Area Tech. And at the other end, Washington puts it up and in. Gives it to Taylor. Taylor passes in the corner. Artis for three. In and out, no good. Washington with the follow. I think he's probably their best option for a three at this point. As it's taken away that time by the Stormers. And a big windmill dunk to kind of put the exclamation point by Breon Williams. 84-70 the lead. West tries to get it to Washington. And another dunk on the inside that time by Hickles. And Milwaukee Area Tech going to advance into the championship bracket as they win 90 to 73.